about being angry and talking about social media. Oh, the amount of L's, the amount of L's, L's, pure L's, L after L after L after L I received over the weekend during the inaugural, um, what was it, the second, right, Nike Sneakers Day? Like, absolute waste of time. Look, man, I have my own misgivings about Nike, right? I had a very tumultuous experience with that company with the swoosh right i went through some things that would uh, make a man very bitter but i'm not that kind of guy right um, <laughs> my own spirits aside right um i always knew sneakers was a was an absolute shit show right the app right absolute shit show of an app um no rhyme or reason why it is so poorly made why it doesn't necessarily work that well for the most part and there's n and you know it's just it is what it is and it? it's a complete shit show over that but i also understand that there's a real problem a real issue to be addressed which is why probably you know more kids should probably stop trying to print t-shirts and trying to be the next virgil and just maybe figure out how to fix you know merchandising and stock replenishment and how to actually fix the way limited edition shoes are released like it has to be a fix for this because this is just getting insane right sneaker culture or sneaker heads or sneaker industry is a what a billion dollar industry right maybe in a double digits of billions right um it's, it's become something far bigger than what i've ever would have thought it would be when i was collecting shoes back in the day on crooked tongues and all that stuff and soul collector and nike talk times right it's gone it's gone it's gone it's gone crazy it's gone absolutely crazy so crazy that you know regular folk um in your neighborhood that don't have anything to do with streetwear know everything about trainers what resource for what where to buy them the access is unprecedented it's a crazy time but the thing that's mostly and really annoying about situations that for some reason it's still ridiculously hard to get the sneakers that you actually want if they happen to be limited edition it's not difficult in that there's a lack of options to buy in terms of retailers which you probably have some could argue depending on what region you live in it's just the process of actually trying to acquire them just makes you question everything um about you know consumerism in general right for the most part you would imagine as the market grows and as the as the market grows and the customers grow, you'd imagine the products would also kind of follow that trend and they try to produce more to supply demand. Whether they're supplying more or whether whether they're producing more or the customers are getting a bit more savvy and they're snapping all the pairs up. Regardless, it's just too difficult to get pair to get hold of a pair of shoes. And the sneakers app doesn't really help. Um, and the absolute honey dicking that we got over the weekend from nike which they made us believe that we we're going to get our able to get our hands on some other limited edition shoes that came out during the year just went and cemented that right because what it feels like to me is that sneakers app is similar to what these retailers do when they have a limited edition shoe and they would drop it on via instagram and they kind of use it as a way to um as a way to acquire new customers by grabbing your email telling you to follow them reshare it tag your friends right it's just a way for them to kind of get hold of email so they can spam you with ridiculous sales or stuff that you're never gonna buy right if your shop if your shop has to do that you definitely are, are down in the dumps anyway you don't need to do that really for the most part but i feel like sneakers app is doing the same thing because initially sneakers day was billed as this day where they were going to you know release and re-release sorry all these mad shoes that came out during 2020 right as a second chance for you to get a pair of shoes this is an article here from just for us kicks that kind of says as much it says here's what to expect to go down for nike sneakers day 2020 right um and this was the amount of shoes that they had here right so there's a couple of new bits and bobs right um that they had there but for the most part you know you've got the sbs chunky donkeys here you've got the obviously the inaugural shoes from the mx uh day in both colors i think here the other ones up there the women's one and the men's ones over here you've got the travis scott sixes um you've got of course the stussies you've got the off-white jordan fours you've got the off-white dunk clothes you off like fives so quite a few sneakers right that you'd think okay there's there's going to be a lot of demand for them but there's obviously a, a good you know nike have done good by offering their customers the opportunity to repurchase some of the shoes they might have missed out on as a celebration of uh, of the second anniversary of the sneakers app or whatever it didn't it didn't try and turns out that way though did it at all if anything the only shoes that I released to the general public that we we're able to get our hands on were these jordans here these jordans here um this air max here and this air max one there as well as i'm going to say that was it basically everything else was released on some sort of early access part 
of the sneakers app, which I had no idea even existed. Did you have an idea it existed? I didn't know. Supposedly, there's um, a certain segment of the user base that gets early access. I'm not sure if that's based upon the amount they buy via Nike store or via the sneakers app specifically. I'm not sure if it's uh, based on the amount of times that they enter raffles or they enter, um, yeah, the, with the ability to try and win, a, win the chance to buy a pair, which is always a weird statement to say, right? You enter a raffle for a chance for you to buy them, um, which is always bizarre. But hey, you know, it is terminology sticks and that's why we have to use them. But it just turned out to be a complete honey dick i spent most of my time on your most of saturday lying uh, lying in bed whilst my back was in you know in spasm in muscular spasm due to my inability to squat correctly and i was thinking okay cool i'm gonna have a little bit of retail therapy get get a hold of some shoes that i actually legitimately wanted to wear day in day out and guess what no they're all gonna be on ea early release via the sneakers app and again just a complete yeah just uh, i don't want to be too disparaging because you know this isn't the time or the place but god damn it man you just imagine a, a company like nike would have the ability to put together an app that was somewhat you know i will know the word, the word fair isn't a thing because i don't even know where the shoes go we have no idea where the inventory goes does it go to people that are actually using the app has it all been um has it all been accounted for backdoor? We have no idea. They could tell us whatever. We'd have no idea. And know what I'd know from working behind the scenes in the shop. I know shop, I know pairs sometimes leave the boxes before they even get to the store. So you might, you know, you might think you're gonna get 32 pairs and then when they arrive, you've got 28 because four went missing or missing or were, you know, were basically promised to other people for favors, allegedly. This is what I've been told. I don't know. But from what I know and what I've heard through the grapevine that stuff does happen so i can only imagine what happens at the scale of a nike app when you kind of up the quantity to the hundreds into the thousands it must get completely ridiculous but there needs to be some transparency there needs to be a way for um guys like myself who aren't necessarily big on the reselling thing and just want to wear some stuff can get a hold of it there has to be a way um because at the moment this is just nuts this is just what what is this like you can't buy shoes that you want so you didn't have to like scramble for shoes that come out as a gr and make them work which i don't i don't have a problem with because i think that's the basis or the genesis of sneaker culture in my in my opinion sneaker culture wasn't always about just buying the loudest most colorfulest thing it was about actually going out there and picking out some gems that were kind of um overlooked and sort of bringing them back to the forefront again i think of the essex gel light and that era on flipping um crooked tongues even the made in england new balances right that com that community basically put that shoe in a pedestal and then it kind of you know was resonated around the world with sneakers sneaker heads all over the place but just buying the latest clot um um makeover isn't necessarily what i would deem to be sneaker culture neither is buying 100 pairs of yeezys but what do i know but yeah this absolute shocking time maybe i'm you know i'm late into a party about this but sneakers app is terrible um probably one of the worst things i've ever used um again maybe another way just to acquire customers and users they probably don't need this again it's bizarre to think that nike have to resort to that sort of stuff but regardless it doesn't work it's a flawed system they honeyed it to all of us they told us we're going to get all these shoes and they're going to be available to buy you know some pretty decent shoes to wear pretty decent shoes to actually acquire to have in your collection but instead that didn't happen we were kind of you know made to do with a couple of air maxes that no one really gives a shit about and you know a jordan that people were just scrambling to buy because it was there and available an absolute horror show of an experience l's were caught feelings were hurt as you can tell from this video live and direct sweating and angry this is my life <laughs> oh mate honestly never again man. i'm not i'm never again using that bloody app again i'd rather just send my email to uh um to an end or to like a, a good hood and just get entered into the raffle and just see what happens i don't i don't know who's picking it i'd, I'd rather do that than sit on the app and just select mark your interest and then the flipping countdown thing you have to wait with your inbox like an absolute dullard like oh, oh and then i guess it got them or not got them and you have to, and then they've got you so whipped they got us so whipped right that they're making us share our L's online. Some people are photoshopping images or they're sharing the email that comes through that tells you you didn't get it. It's like, how, how, what's that voodoo they have on us? What's this voodoo? They have, a, it's, it's a weird voodoo they have on us, man. It's just nuts. It's just nuts. Like, no one else could do this to us. Imagine someone did this to you where you're happy to get an L and you're sharing it on flipping social. Like, hey, hey, friends, look at me. I failed again. Failure. Me failure. So happy. Like and subscribe. Ugh. God almighty. Anyway.
we we go again no we don't we don't go again i hate that phrase uh, we don't go again <laughs> we, we, we look at the things that annoy us and we stop doing them or we stop going there we stop talking to them right we just cut that thing out like a tumor gone you're out of here you know famous last words isn't it? and then i'll be talking about sneakers up next week oh my god you want to guess what oh fucking hate this